I am Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus. Uh, a few weeks ago on the Great British Bake Off, God rest its soul, they were doing Yorkshire puddings, weren't they? And uh, I can sort of manage Yorkshire puddings. They just have three ingredients, which are exactly equal in measure, eggs, flour, and milk. And you whisk them all together, and you make sure you preheat the oil in the oven, and then you pour them in, and 20, 30 minutes later, Bob's your uncle, you've got some lovely Yorkshire puddings to go with your roast, dinner, or whatever. Um, now, today's reading from the One Year Bible in Philippians chapter 4 is a recipe for peace, a threefold recipe for peace. And, uh, and Paul lists them, it's a very famous passage, you probably know it, but it's wonderful stuff and great to be reminded of. Verse 6, don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done, then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, as you live in Christ Jesus. So the first ingredient of peace, these Yorkshire puddings of peace, is prayer. Prayer is a great anxiety buster. And, and Paul here counsels, rather than fret about things, rather than spend all that mental energy stressing and straining and uh, being anxious about um, external situations, instead, translate that energy into prayer. Pray your worries through and out with God. And give them to him. Because prayer is a great antidote to stress and anxiety, actually. If you pray about something, you feel better about it. At least I do. If you, you have something that's coming up and you give it to God, then you kind of go into it. And whether it, it comes out good or bad, not only are you God, is God going to intervene in that situation because you prayed, but also you've got that security going in, that this is in the hands of God. You've committed it to him. And you're doing it in his strength, not your own. And so prayer is a great anxiety buster. And uh, as the old uh, hymn goes, um, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we did not carry everything to God in prayer. And so Paul says, pray about everything. Take your petitions, your needs, your requests, your desires to God. And then thank him. That's a key ingredient. So thank him for, for answers to prayer and be in that relationship with him. So the first ingredient is prayer. Pray about everything. Second ingredient, Paul says, Now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and praiseworthy. Let's fixate not on the negatives, not on the, um, the dark things, the evil things, the unholy things, the unsettling things, but instead seek to fixate on those things that are good and holy and wholesome. And that will bring much peace into our minds. Um, so much anxiety comes needlessly from not the events that we're anxious about, but the anxiety that we're feeding and fueling through constant, constant mental fixation. And finally, thirdly, keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. And uh, everything you heard from me and saw me doing, then the God of peace will be with you, Paul says. In other words, as we seek to live the Christ life, as modelled by Paul and other Christian role models and exemplified in Christ, as we seek to live a life of obedience, we edit out all lots of, so many opportunities for anxiety and, and sin, and this brings peace into our lives. The God of all peace will be with us. And so there you have it, a simple threefold recipe for Yorkshire puddings of peace this morning. Let's pray about everything. Let's fixate on the good and the holy and the wholesome. And let's seek to live a life that is pleasing to God, that's in line with his will and obedient to his purposes, and will experience God's great and transcendent peace.